Professor Zhang Weiwei, the director of the China Institute at Fudan University in Shanghai. Professor, thanks very much uh, for joining us. There is no doubt that there is a shift in terms of policy towards China when it comes to the Western world, uh, whether that's the uh, EU, uh, in the UK, we're seeing that the US, Canada, Australia. Your response to that, because clearly this has happened uh, since, yeah. since this new national security law has been introduced in Hong Kong. No, for us, perhaps uh, it's mainly due to the United States. We have a government under Donald Trump, which is, to be frank, not very mature. And uh, with uh, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo, very ideological. So he sees everything as black and white and communist and democracy, whatever. The world is much more sophisticated. And uh, for instance, you mentioned this national security law. Uh, China was, uh, Beijing was being generous and given China, Hong Kong 23 years to enact this law, but failed to do that for all kinds of reasons. So the Hong Kong economy was almost destroyed last year. So something has to be done. But, the, but the point is that there was one country, two systems, and with the introduction of this law, that is now being chipped away. The people of Hong Kong are saying to us that the whole nature of life in Hong Kong has now changed as a result of this. Uh, that's exaggerated. From our uh, reading of the opinion surveys, uh, it seems at least 65% of Hong Kongese feel better and more capital coming to Hong Kong, stock market is rising. So uh, business have more confidence, that's from our reading. And uh, furthermore- We did see, in, sir, uh, two million yeah. people out on the streets last year protesting against this. Yeah, that was the chaos created by uh, some people, uh, sponsored, certainly supported by certain uh, political forces in the West. Uh, let me share you with one simple idea how most ordinary Chinese view this. From their point of view, United States, United Kingdom have already made a mess of Iran, made a mess of Afghanistan, made a mess of Syria, made a mess of Libya, the list goes on. Now they want to make a mess of Xinjiang. Well, if you look at of, Xinjiang, uh, we're Hong talking Kong. about well, one million. million. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm just going to interrupt because yeah, please, we, please, we, please. We, we are yeah. seeing one million people in Xinjiang being put into these concentration camps. Some people are calling this genocide. Um, you no, know, this is a ridiculous <laughs> nonsense. Laugh, heads off, you know. Uh, Xinjiang attracted about uh, 200 million or 200 and even more tourists last year. And for three years, no terrorist attacks. So this is a remarkable achievement. I was there uh, last April and you see the piece there. It reminds me of the famous line from uh, Mr. Pompeo and we, what we cheated, we stole. <laughs> We lied. You know, all kinds of uh, stuff you can create with this uh, new technology, but you have to do really serious surveys. And uh, most people in Xinjiang feel good. Now, so, really, sir, much sir I mean, you, you can deny it all you want, but let me just point to something. You worked uh, for yeah. Deng Xiaoping yourself, and yeah. Deng Xiaoping said that China should bide its time and hide its capabilities. Isn't President Xi now repudiating okay. that? No, this is a, a not accurate translation. The translation is very simple. It's we keep a low profile. Now, uh, uh, indeed, uh, China is now, uh, how should we say it? You know, when China keeps a low profile, the West will say, oh, China is a free rider. China should take more responsibility. When China begins to take more responsibility, you become more aggressive. So what can you do, you know? Uh, I'll just give you another quote because right. you did work for him. Yeah. Deng Xiaoping also helped create a system post Mao where he said that no single person should dominate an entire system. Again, isn't President Xi repudiating that as well? Uh, you have to read, uh, I'm not sure this particular line, but they, you know, Xi Jinping is uh, one leader out of the seven members of top leadership. So we have a collective leadership. He's been the leader of this top seven. So on the Chinese political system, what we have is what we call the democratic centralism. It's inconceivable we have a decision maker like Donald Trump. He can do whatever he wants, a dictator. You know?
Professor Zhang Weiwei, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.